Welcome back to my second tutorial. This time it will be about audio MIDI setup. Audio MIDI setup. And uh, I will try to teach you some quite cool stuff that I just happened to stumble upon. Okay, let's start with something really easy, and that's how to make your own icons in audio media setup just uh, open up your favorite browser uh, I will use an application called Quicksilver you can use everything you want to you can use to your dock or or your spotlight to to launch I use Quicksilver I type Quicksilver Safari and here I have a Safari page with a picture that I like um, I take the squeeze box and I just drag it to my desktop. It's a .png file. You can use whatever file you like. You can use a JPEG or something like that. I I quit Safari. And I will quit Audio MIDI setup. Now open up a Finder window and navigate to your user library audio MIDI devices in MIDI devices I have created first a folder called custom that's my folder name of choice then inside the custom folder I've created a folder called images that one is I think obligatory at least that's how it's in the main folder and inside that folder I have my pictures so I will drag the squeeze box picture inside of the user folder and it will drop right in there and as you can see I have other stuff here too but let's close the window and open audio media setup and let's take a look at the SL Mark II so this is the SL Mark II at the top left you have the open icon browser and the icon for uh, for the SL Mark II that I have made myself this is the one that I use and if we come down we can see the new the new icon the squeeze box so if I want to use that I just single click on that I press apply and the new icon is a reality you can also choose your color but but I will revert to my old novation icon and press apply okay so that was easy next thing will be a lot lot harder but bear with me and try to try to stay stay cool because <laughs> this will do involve a text editor but okay let's see how it works so one of the main issues with uh, with audio media setup is that you cannot change the order of how the things will appear so for example I would like the Akai to appear before my novation okay that's it everything's nice everything's good and what happens then okay next day I will rest restart my computer I simulate this with rescan MIDI and it's back to the same old same old so what to do what to do okay I will show you in the finder and then navigate to library audio MIDI configurations in the MIDI configurations folder you'll find your MIDI configurations dot mcfg and those are the same that are represented in the drop down menu in the audio MIDI setup let's head back to the finder window and let's try this one I will take the Eric MIDI 
and I will hold down my option key and drag that one to the desktop. That way we've made a copy of the configuration. So now we close the finder window and here we have my new configuration that we want to edit. Uh, to open it up I will need a text editor so just use your main text editor text edit and drag and drop that one on the text edit icon so now you can see that we have the preference file here the configuration file this file is quite interesting you can see here that it has some indents and in the second indent you see something that is called DICT and everything between the first dict and the slash dict is one object in the audio MIDI setup so this is my first object the IAC driver this is my network, this is my SLMK2, you can see it here, this is the picture, my custom picture, this is the string, you can see everything here, you can see the network, you can see exactly everything here. This is my Akai. What you want to do here is take for example my Akai this is my Akai I will cut that one out and I will paste it above Novation. Done. So now my Akai is pasted above the Novation. I will save this one and exit the text editor. I'll rename this one to something like version 2 or something like that, v2, and I'll try to put this one back. Back in the MIDI configuration folder. So let's restart audio MIDI setup. This is my old setup, old configurations, and this is my new configuration. And in the new configuration you can see that the Akai appears before the Novation. And if I try to rescan the MIDI, it will stay the same. Great. This is great. Great news. So the next thing is the mess in logic and its physical input object. And you can see here, this is a screenshot of the physical input. And you can see here the port 1, the port 2, the port 1, the port 2, the port 1, the port 2. And you do not know which port is which or which uh, device it corresponds to. So I will show you a better way and an easier way to see your ports. Let's take the version 2 once again, drop it here, like a copy. I will open it up in the text editor by drag and dropping it. And I will scroll down to the, my Akai. And there we can see Akai port 1. And let's call this port 1 something else, because port 1 is the only thing that we are seeing in the, in the physical input. So I will change its name to Akai 
import one like that and we'll do the same for port 2 and the same for port 3 and we're done with the Akai next on the list is the Novation and I will make things a little bit different this time let's append SLMK2 to the ending of port 1 instead and the same for port 2 and you will see why soon like that let's save it give it a different name this one will be version 3 like that I will drop it right in and quit and restart audio MIDI setup and now we'll change to version 3 and what happened can you spot the difference okay we can see that the Akai MPK88 now has Akai port 1 Akai port 2 and Akai port 3 but the bad news is that they are all beginning with an A in uh, the audio MIDI setup. You see the A, and that's just because A is the first letter in the name. But if we try the SLMK2, we see that the number 1 and then 2 is intact, just because we appended the name after port 1 and port 2. So this is the way to go. Now let's open up our dear logic. Open the environment window, click and ports, layer, and voila! We see a Kai port 1, a Kai port 2, a Kai port 3, port 1 of the SLMK2, and port 2 of the SLMK2. This is kind of almost amazing. And now we can see which port is which. Remember to append the name after the port so it works in the audio MIDI setup. That way we can see the 1 and 2 and 3 in the MIDI setup too. So this is all for now. It's a quite a length, lengthy video but I hope you, you stayed through the whole time and I hope you learned something. Next time I'll be doing something with uh, templates, I think. Uh, and I will show you how to customize your templates to your needs and how to customize them to fit uh, the graphical spectrum of things too. Okay, till next time, bye bye.